morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing and sometimes wild and wacky world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, and it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to help you. Our number 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, or the longevity business, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, you can call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and purchase products right off the website, also brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Love to have you on the team. We can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program together. We can help change lives together. We can help heal our friends and family members, workmates, loved ones together. Give a shout to 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a especially long look at our retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C and our transdermal delivery matrix. And that's it. Oh, yeah, there's a little fullerene in there. Put fullerenes in our products. Fullerenes are really neat, high-tech ingredients that improve transdermal penetration. No wax, no oil, no fillers, no silicon, no water, no, no preservative, no fragrance, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Everything you pay for when you buy a Truth Treatment product is something that's going to make a difference on your skin. And that's how I like to formulate. That's how I'm going to formulate. I couldn't do it with my other companies, but this, the truth is going to be dedicated to ingredients that are functional and active only. Check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so I want to continue talking about the calming diet, the ketogenic diet that stabilizes seizure disorders, helps you lose weight. It's important for cardiovascular health, important for folks dealing with Alzheimer's disease. It's an anti-diabetic diet. Basically, the ketogenic diet is a high-fat, moderate protein, whatever that means, and low-carb diet. If you're really going ketogenic, you're going to go... 10% maybe or less carbohydrates, but for most people, 40%, 30%, 20%, somewhere in there, carbohydrates. 20 to 25 is probably a good place. 20 to 25% of your calories coming from carbs, and then maybe 60 to 70% fat, and then maybe 10 to 20% protein. It's a calming diet. It's used for just calming the body down. We discussed nutrients that you could use to support the ketogenic diet, lecithin, helping your body process fats. You're going to be eating all this fat. You now you need to have excess nutrients to help your body process fat. That's where bile salts come in. Digestive enzymes come in. That's where probiotics come in. That's where vitamin E comes in. All of these will help your body process fats. Cardiovascular benefits also increase when you use these fat-supporting uh, fat nutrients. Vitamin E helps the heart. 
actually the whole body really, the brain, the heart, the blood sugar system, the entire body benefits when you start using bile salts and probiotics and vitamin E for your ketogenic diet, everything will benefit. So today I want to start talking about one of my all-time favorite supplements. One you don't hear a lot about, except if you're listening to this program, you hear a lot about it, but you don't hear a lot about it in the mainstream, which is very unfortunate, considering this stuff has incredible, incredible benefits and multifunctional benefits. I love multifunctionality. Multifunctionality in nutrition gives you value when you buy your nutrients. Drugs don't have a multifunctional nature. It's rare that a drug will do more than just target a specific enzyme system or or a cellular system for one specific effect. In fact, drug companies don't want to have multifunctionality. That's where side effects come in. With nutrients, you get side effects, but they're good. That's what multifunctionality is about, good side effects. So you take your vitamin E for your brain health and your blood sugar improves and your skin health improves and your heart health improves. This is what's so neat about nutrition. So this new sup, this supplement I'm going to talk about, it's not a new supplement, it's quite an old supplement actually. It's not a nutritional supplement, it's a hormonal supplement. And it's cheap, and it's non-toxic, and it's supremely anti-aging. It's called pregnenolone, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, pregnenolone. It costs you about 50 cents or a dollar a day to get a good daily dose of pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is not a nutrient. It's not part of the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. It's not essential. You don't need to supplement with it like you need to supplement or need to get vitamin E in your diet or any of the vitamins or minerals or Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. That's what essential means. You've got to get it in your diet or supplements. So you don't need to take pregnenolone. You can, you can get by without taking pregnenolone supplement. On the other hand, why would you? Why, uh, why would you want to get by? without taking a pregnenolone supplement. It's a steroid hormone. It's, a, it's a, a, a stress management hormone. It's a growth hormone. It's a building hormone. It's a happy hormone. And it's benign. And it's gentle. And it's mild. This gentleness, this mildness, is why you can get pregnenolone in the health food store and on the internet. And you don't need a prescription for it. How cool is that? And it's amazing stuff. It's multifunctional. It's potent. It's non-toxic. And it's cheap. And if you're dealing with any stressful inflammatory health issue, you'd be pretty smart to get on 100 or 200 milligrams a day of pregnenolone. Any autoimmune diseases, 100 to 200 milligrams of, re of pregnenolone, particularly arthritis. But really, any inflammatory, immune, stressful health challenge. Pregnenolone is a stress management happy hormone. It's an anti-aging hormone. Pregnenolone, like all of the steroid hormones, is really cholesterol. It's a type of cholesterol. It's just a slight tweak away from cholesterol. Chemistry being all about le uh, tinker toy shapes. I know I said it before, but it bears repeating. Chemistry is nothing more than shape shifting. So when you talk about chemistry or you think about chemistry, what we're always, always talking about are tinker toys just being shaped differently. Cholesterol is one particular tinker toy shape. If you just do a little twist on one of the dowels on the left-hand side, just one of the little edge, I think they're called dowels or wheels or whatever they are. Just a little twist, you get pregnenolone. It's basically the same thing, which is just another reason, by the way, why you want to stay away from statin drugs or doctors, boneheaded doctors, who think it's a good idea to poison the cholesterol manufacturing system. If you get a whole cholesterol is really the source of, it is really all your building and growth and fertility hormones and stress management hormones, suppressing cholesterol is quintessentially stupid. Tell that to your doctor. With all of the things that cholesterol is responsible for, all of the amazing growth and anti-aging and healing and wound repair and, and, and just good health and good livingness associated with cholesterol, why would anybody think it's a good idea? Why would any medical professional think it's a good idea to poison cholesterol manufacturing machinery? Oh yeah, I know why. Because the drug company said that you can reduce your risk by half a percent if you of a heart attack if you lower your cholesterol. Only if you've had a heart attack before, by the way. Except they don't say half a percent. They say 50% because they're sneaky. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. All right, we're back 
on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Also, brightsideben.com, and we have search engines up, so if you miss a program, you can review it or you can direct your clients or your patients or your friends or family members to any particular program by the search engine. Very convenient little feature on brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Of course, you can purchase longevity products right off the websites too. Criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And Truth Treatment products are all available at truthtreatments.com. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get to your calls here in our next segment, talking about the steroid hormones and pregnenolone. The steroid steroid hormones are super potent because, well, for one thing, they're active in very small concentrations. When I was compounding estrogen and testosterone, and uh, well, basically estrogen and testosterone creams, you had to be so careful. If you were off by like a, a microgram, you could create havoc inside the body. A microgram is a millionth of a gram. Pregnenolone, on the other hand, and a couple other ones, progesterone and DHEA, they don't have anywhere near the potency of estrogen and testosterone. But that means that they're, well, it means they're gentle for one thing because they don't have the potency, but it also means that they don't have the same kind of cachet that estrogen and testosterone have. Drug companies don't really like working with pregnenolone because it doesn't, it takes a long time for this stuff to work and it's cheap. And it's this, it's this kind of gentle nature that makes pregnenolone an anonymous hormone. Unless you've been listening to the bright side, you probably don't even know about pregnenolone. You don't ever hear anybody talking about pregnenolone. It's this gentle nature that accounts for the fact that we don't really know, know about it, unless you're listening to this program. Beginning in the 1930s and 1940s, when drug companies figured out how to manufacture and how to synthesize and how to industrially produce the steroid hormones, particularly cortisol and estrogen, super, super, super mega powerful substances, probably, uh, I would say cortisol and estrogen, maybe some forms of testosterone as well, are the most powerful biochemicals in the body in terms of their effects. And when we figured out how to make these things artificially, well, drug companies and doctors began to favor these artificial, these synthetic, anyway, mass-produced pharmacological hormones over the more gentle ones. Pregnenolone's great stuff. Make no mistake about it. Pregnenolone is really, really good stuff. But it can't even touch cortisol or or, or artificial cortisol, which is called prednisone. Many Many of you have heard of that. The drug version of cortisol is prednisone. They're basically the same thing. Pregnenolone is awesome. But it can't touch prednisone for instant effects. Pregnenolone will help your arthritis. In fact, if that's one of its major uses. And historically, before the development of uh, cortisol and prednisone, that's what was used, was pregnenolone. And then when they figured out how to make cortisol, boom, they went crazy. Why? Because cortisol works quickly. I remember I saw a movie in pharmacy school of this lady who had rheumatoid arthritis. It was a, 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 a video of a, of a medical convention. And... Uh, They had a lady who came up to the stage and she had rheumatoid arthritis and she walked up the stage like somebody who had rheumatoid arthritis, except she had it really bad. And I don't know if you've ever seen this, but the, the, the joints and the limbs and the extremities are all crooked and she could barely walk. And it was painful just to watch her walk up the stage. And then you see the lady the next day after a dose of prednisone. This is the 1940s, but before anybody heard of prednisone. So you see the same lady after a dose of prednisone. And man, she's like a new person. She's walking really fast and she's got this energy in her step. One dose of prednisone. One day later, that's the kind of power that prednisone has. Now, at the time, they didn't know about the toxicity of prednisone. And that's one of the problems with drugs. The more powerful they are, the more toxic they will be. When prednisone first came out, pregnenolone went immediately on the back burner. Pregnenolone can help your arthritis. It's going to help your immune diseases. It's anti-inflammatory, but it's going to take some time. It'll take a few days or a week even. Prednisone works within hours. But what you gain in effectiveness and power costs you toxicity and costs you side effects. And this is why prednisone is so darn nasty and on every pharmacist's top 10 list of nasty, toxic drugs. And if you're on prednisone, you know that you have to wean yourself off very slowly because when you're on prednisone, your body isn't going to make its own hormones and you're going to run deficient in your own natural hormones. This is one of the major problems with hormone therapy. 
is once you take an uh, artificial or drug hormone, your body stops making its own. So if you're taking growth hormone, your body won't make as much growth hormone. If you're taking estrogen, your body won't make as much estrogen. And if you're taking cortisol or prednisone, your body isn't going to make cortisol. And as soon as you go off it, you're going to be very deficient in this super important hormone. And by the way, nobody should ever be on prednisone long term, although I know many of you are, and many doctors still prescribe prednisone for life. It's one of the things we learn first year of pharmacy school is you don't stay on prednisone for a long period of time and you wean yourself off slowly. Prednisone suppresses the immune system. It causes a breakdown of bone, a breakdown of muscle. It, has, uh, it can negatively affect the thyroid. It can cause weight gain. It can cause insomnia, jitteriness, anxiety. Pregnenolone, on the other hand, is not just non-toxic. Pregnenolone is a feel-good hormone. It's a well-being hormone, has a calming effect on the body. It supports the ketogenic diet. It supports the calming of the ketogenic diet. As we get older, we don't make as much prednisone. And this is one of the reasons why people, as they get older, have issues with anxiety and depression. Pregnenolone is the quintessential brain health hormone. It's ideal for all brain health issues, all of them, including stress. We're going to talk about progesterone here in a couple of days, and then we'll talk about DHEA, both of which have very similar benefits to pregnenolone, although perhaps not the same gentleness. Pregnenolone is just ridiculously gentle. You can get your, do your own hormone replacement therapy by going, to, uh, by going to a health food store and taking 100 or 200 or even 300 milligrams of pregnenolone a day. Preg the, the, you'll know you're taking too much pregnenolone because you'll be too relaxed. That's the one thing they'll have. If you take too much pregnenolone, it'll relax you too much. Drug companies have a big time financial interest in making sure we're buying drugs, obviously. They don't like pregnenolone and they're not going to tell you about pregnenolone because you don't need a prescription for this stuff. They'll tell you about artificially manipulated hormones They'll tell you about artificially manipulated neurotransmitters, but they won't tell you about the real thing. Pregnenolone will cost you 50 cents a day or a dollar a day. No doctor is required. It can't be patented, though. That's the problem with pregnenolone. Drug companies can't make money off of substances that aren't patented. Back in the pre-drug hormone days in the 1930s and 1940s, we were just figuring all these things out. Scientists realized that these natural substances like pregnenolone could be tweaked could be manipulated, and they could sell them as drugs. And in the 1930s and 1940s, when our ability to synthesize these things became advanced, the search went, began for patentable drug agents that were knockoffs of natural substances. That's where prednisone came from. They knew that cortisol in the body was amazing, and it's actually a great story of, of scientific invention and discovery, how they came up with the, the, uh, the industrial processes, the factory processes, and manufacturing processes to turn prednisone, to turn cortisol, which is made in the body, into prednisone. From that point, from the 1930s and 1940s, fast forward to today, non-toxic natural hormones have faded into obscurity and anonymity to the point where most patients and most doctors haven't even heard of pregnenolone, let alone are using, are using it uh, for therapeutic benefits. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with more right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. If you're interested in checking out the Longevity products, head over to to uh, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For one time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and make some money selling longevity products and help me in my mission to spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. We can do it together. I can help you build your business if you want to make some money, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. One of the best ways to build your own pregnenolone, to help your body make its own pregnenolone, is to use vitamin C. There's a really important role between vitamin C and the 
and the uh, the manufacturing, the synthesis of cholesterol of uh, pregnenolone from cholesterol. In fact. Vitamin C is very important in making all the steroid hormones. This is one of the hidden roles, one of the, one of the uh, l less known roles of vitamin C is its involvement in how we process cholesterol. It's been known for a long time that vitamin C deficiency can cause an elevation in blood cholesterol. And this is one of the main reasons why people's cholesterol gets jacked up. Not just, not just elevated cholesterol, but uh, de deficiencies in vitamin C are well known to cause all kinds of, of, of blood problems, including problems manufacturing steroids. And vitamin C deficiency is more common than anybody knows. If you're out there and you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that's not you. You're going to get a bunch of vitamin C in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's one of the neatest things about it. But most people... Probably not folks listening to this program, but most people out there are deficient in vitamin C. Remember, you're urinating it out. It's water-soluble. If you're not taking it regularly throughout the day, which is why I always tell people to sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, there's a good chance, even if you're dosing yourself with vitamin C once a day or twice a day even, there's a good chance that you're going to be deficient in this stuff. And then you're going to, your cholesterol is going to go up, and your doctor is going to put you on a statin drug, and it could easily, easily be a vitamin C deficiency. Oh, when was the last time a doctor wrote a prescription for vitamin C? Never. But we know that vitamin C deficiency will cause uh, an accumulation of cholesterol in, in various tissues of the body as well as uh, elevations of cholesterol in the blood. And we know that supplementing with vitamin C in animals and in people will cause a drop in cholesterol, in, ele in elevated cholesterol. A couple other really neat things about pregnenolone I'm going to talk about tomorrow. You know, if you're using anti-anxiety drugs or if you're smoking pot, if you're uh, indulging in cannabis, you want to know about pregnenolone. There's a couple things that you, uh, there's a couple really interesting benefits that pregnenolone has for folks who are using medication uh, or, who are, uh, or who are smoking, smoking the weed. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Pat. Pat in Indiana. I think we spoke to Pat yesterday. Is that you, Pat? Yes, I am. Hello, Pat. Uh, I'm glad you called back. Well, thanks. But uh, our son, I was talking about our son having cancer of his thyroid. Yes. And they took them both out, and uh, they were not getting them on thyroid. Of course, I'm beginning to understand hearing you talk about this now. Um He's, he's just we'll so messed up. Since he's okay, well, let's, let's, you know, the more messed up we are, the faster we can turn it around. Now, your boy doesn't have a thyroid, so, you know, we're a bit handicapped here, but there's still a lot you can do. you got to calm the body down. Without a thyroid, he's running very serious risks of adrenal ex... Uh, uh, he, he, there's not running risks. He's definitely going to be... His adrenal glands are going to be doing a lot of work. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's a link. There's like a connection between the adrenals and the thyroid. I call it the adrenal thyroid complex because they're linked. The adrenal glands give you emergency energy. The thyroid gives you calming en or, or gives you regular energy for just doing your business. Without the thyroid, he's going to be depending on his emergency generator. This can co cause problems with adrenal fatigue, and that's going to make him tired. That's going to uh, can cause depression. It's going to suppress his immune system. It's going to cause a lot of problems. So you've got to calm, keep him as calm and relaxed as possible mentally as well as physiologically. So things like for the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, for one, that's a, that's a given. You should get on them today. Have him get on them today. Eliminating any foods that cause digestive distress. Do a food diary. He probably has. He's got to have digestive issues without a thyroid. Have him do a food he diary. Got a, uh, and he just got a bleeding ulcer. Okay. I'm telling you, he's going to have more problems. He's going to be constipated and... He's going to have problems accessing nutrients and energy from his food. So you've got to have him uh, eliminating problem foods and using liquids as much as possible, using soups and juices. Get a Vitamix. It's the most important health tool you're going to get for him is a Vitamix or a Nutribullet so he can do vegetable juices multiple times a day. Make them in the morning and drink them all day long. Or he, better yet, make them fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, any veggies that he can handle. He, sh he should be living on vegetable juices and bone soup. That should be the bulk of his calories. Coconut oil also is very can be very helpful for the adrenal glands. So coconut oil, butter, um, uh, a bone soup, liquefying his foods, pre-digesting his foods, eating as little as he needs, making sure he's getting copious and generous amounts of nutrients like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, calming the body down as much as possible with hot water, hot baths, hot showers, deep breathing. He should be reading up on yoga and meditation today. 
These are all things that he should be doing today, by the way, Pat. You don't have a lot of time to waste. Fermented foods. You're going to need to listen to review this thing uh, uh, on the tape, on the archives, because it's so, much diff so many different things. He should be on 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. He should be on 400 international units of vitamin E. He should be on 20,000 international units of, of vitamin A. He should be on 600 micrograms or so of selenium. He should be on a gram or two of MSM sulfur. I mean, I could go on endlessly, really. Do you understand what we're, how I'm working here, though? Calming the body down is the most important thing. Eliminating problem foods. Stabilizing the blood sugar. Staying away from anything that spikes his blood sugar. And bread and pasta and potatoes. He's going to have to, for the rest of his life, he has to change everything. Yeah. But he can, he can, you know, he can do well here. I've seen people do well without a thyroid. I mean, it's handicapped for sure, but you can still do well. But he has to keep the body calm and relaxed. Have him listen to everything we talked about, the ketogenic diet. That's another thing he wants to do. That's a high-fat, moderate protein, low-carb diet. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. Uh, you were talking about uh, the pregnenol, uh, zone. Pregnenolone? Yeah, pregnenolone. That will definitely help him. Absolutely. 200 milligrams a day. Like that, health foods. No, health food oh, store on the internet. Absolutely, that will help him. Okay. okay. Now, he was born hyper, I think, because he's worked. He's he probably had a food health. allergy. No, he probably had a food intolerance or a food allergy, and you didn't catch it. Nobody knew. Oh. And that could have been hyping up his system. And, and he's, been like, he's, 50 some, he's 54. Okay. And he, he works as a builder, and he, don't, he has to do everything. Okay. He's so well, hyper. I, gonna well, be you got to have him understand how to relax the body. It's absolutely critical. I yeah. gave you a whole bunch of info there, Pat. I, I got to move on. I got a full board okay. here, but well, you can you can send me an email and stay in touch with me. I'm very glad to help you out. He can right. do a lot. There's a lot of things he can do. A lot of things he can do. He is handicapped, but there's still a lot of things he can do. All right. Thank you oh. very much, Ben. Okay. God bless you. Good luck with everything, Pat. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, that's tragic. If you are out there and they're telling you you need to have your thyroid in, now if you have cancer, that's different. Cancer is cancer and you got to do what you got to do. But if they're telling you because you have Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism hyper that you need your thyroid taken out, please contact me. You do not need to have a thyroid poisoned or removed for Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism. You do not. You got to figure out why you have the Graves' disease and it's an autoimmune disease. Please do not have your thyroid taken out. You're setting yourself up for disaster. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Hunters, anglers, campers, and... Okay, we are back on the bright side. Let's go to Oklahoma and say hi to Justin. Good morning, Justin. What's going on, man? Hey, Ben. Uh, I called in oh, a couple weeks ago and was asking you about that bulletproof coffee, uh, you know, about adding a lesson to it. Okay. And uh, you'd, you'd said add an egg. Okay. Uh, to it. Um, I did. Uh, it, it takes a little bit to get it right. If you add it too hot, you, you get a nasty egg drop soup looking stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. But, but yeah, it, it made it a whole lot better. Once you cool it down, it, it makes Creamy. everything mix in a whole lot better. Yeah, there and, you and go. it stays together a whole lot longer. Good job, man. Plus, you get the egg. So. You get all the protein from the egg. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, no, more than protein, you get vitamin A, you get essential fats. It's just like, it just bumps up the nutri It probably doubles and triples the nutritional value of the of co coconut oil and, uh, and coffee. Coffee's got some benefits, but I wouldn't say a lot of nutritional benefits. Coconut oil, of course, will get you some, but now you get an egg with it, too. Good job, Justin. Uh, I had one real quick question. Sure. Um, we're we're kind of starting to, to get onto the keto diet and everything. When we were we were taking uh, whey protein, that one world whey, uh, is it is it okay to take that with uh, being a moderate? protein diet is or yeah absolutely no absolutely okay. that's a great source of protein moderate protein means you, you want to get some protein and just not as much as the fat um i don't even know really what the word moderate means to tell you the truth but if, oh, okay. if you if you want you know most pro, uh, the typical protein needs are around half a gram to a gram per pound of body weight so if you weigh 150 pounds you're looking at 75 grams of protein around something like that uh, it, it, that's what bodybuilders and athletes are doing. The government says you need a lot less than that. I'm going with the athletes and bodybuilders. So 75 to 150 grams for a 150-pound person. To go moderate protein is more towards the lower end of that scale, maybe 75, 80 grams of protein a day. That would be moderate protein. And that would be three scoops, two or three scoops of whey protein. An egg has about six grams of protein in it. Okay. 
okay? All right. I appreciate it. Good deal. Have a good day, Justin. Thanks for calling and appreciate it. All right. Let's go to Chris in California. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Chris? Hi. Um, I was calling because my brother has uh, lupus. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Very easy and to I, deal with. Super easy to yeah, deal with. Okay. Yeah. I needed some kind of device. All right. With it's a, first of all, you got to focus on food. It's an autoimmune disease, lupus. It affects the skin. It affects pretty much the whole body, but it shows up on the skin. But it's basically the body responding to something that's getting into the system, into the blood. And unless you're injecting something IV, and it can't, if you do, if you are, you know, I don't, I'm not saying you are, but anybody out there, if, if you're injecting something intravenously, that can initiate an autoimmune response, certainly. Drugs can initiate an autoimmune response. It's something that's getting into the body. However, for the most part, it's going to be a food problem. So all autoimmune diseases, all of them people, there's a hundred and uh, uh, probably 80 million people. I don't know. There's a huge amount, 50 to 100 to 80 million people who are dealing with this. It's a terrible problem. And all you have to do is figure out what's getting into the system that activates the immune system. It usually means a food. So food diary, eliminate problem foods. Okay. Does that make okay. sense, Chris? Do you want me to explain that? Yes. Or does that? Okay, good. No, so no, do, I understand that. So basically okay, just tell them to start doing a food diary. And eliminate problem foods, and then also and also support the digestive system. It's it's two. You got to attack it from two two angles. One, you eliminate the bad guys, which are the problem foods, and right. uh, then two, you strengthen the digestive system. Now, of course, all the basic mighty ninety nutrients are going to be important, particularly vitamin C. Pregnenolone right. can help, by the way. A couple hundred milligrams of that a day for lupus, and then also, does he have the arthritis going on also? Yes, he's he's pretty uh, advanced in it. Okay. All right. So he's it basically it's when the whole body falls apart. It is so tragic. It is so heartbreaking. Chris, you can make a difference in his life in 24 hours. In 24 okay. hours. I'm not kidding you. Get him on the BTT. Have him eliminate problem foods. Start to support the digestive system with uh, probiotics, fermented foods, eating as little food as possible, nothing processed. All he should be eating is soups and juices for a while. In fact, if he fasts for a couple of days, he'll notice right before his eyes, you'll notice right before your eyes that his symptoms improve. If he just fasts for a couple of days or maybe does a... Or maybe does a swear. Let me say this real quick. Maybe does a swear OV cleanse for anybody out there who doesn't want to go into a full blown fast. A swear OV cleanse where you order the swear OV from Longevity eight six six seven three five twenty four seven. You do half a bottle of swear OV every hour. It helps you go into your fast. Also, the ketogenic diet, by the way, Chris, that can help him too. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so all the the medications that the doctors put you on for this, do you? Start doing what you suggest, and then eventually you can wean off of that stuff. Or how of does course, that work? of course, the drugs aren't helping him. The drugs. No, you I said he's degenerate. That. That's why, that's it's absurd, calling. Chris. It's absurd. We take these drugs because we're told to take them, and we don't get better. He right. uh, has he improved one whit since that he's been on the drugs. No, one I'm drop. Always I, going downhill. I'm telling you, it's like it's hidden in plain sight. They don't work. How dare a doctor take money for this? How dare a drug company take money for this? this it's so evil. Be, in your opinion, can it be reversed? Yes, 100%. Now, I don't know how degenerated he is, so it's going to take more or less time, but it can begin right away. Listen, let me give you the logic here, okay? Not just for Chris, but everybody listening. The immune system is the defense system. An autoimmune disease is when the defense system is activated. If you have a defensive response, the defense system is activated, all you got to do is figure out the offending agent. You see how logic, right. logical this is, Chris? It's just logic. Right. You figure out the offending agent and remove it, and then the defense, defense, uh, defense department stands down. Now, at this point, he's so broken down, it's a little gonna be, it's going to take some time, but the process can begin right away, even with something as simple as a fast. Have him on so just on. Can, go ahead. Sorry. Where can I, is there an archive or something that I can go to so he can listen to this recording and it would give him Have him listen to this. Have him listen to what I'm saying right now. Go to benfuchsarchives.com or go to, uh, uh, go to brightsideben.com. And also my friend Kevin in, uh, the so in uh, Russia is actually posting them on my Facebook page. So just go okay. to my Facebook page and all the shows are up there. Thank you, Kevin, by the way, for doing that. Uh, and you can go there. But I, you can search, just search autoimmune disease or search today's show, whatever you want to do. And then you can also send me an email with your phone number on there and give me some time and I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank okay, you, okay, thank thank you Chris. You so okay, God bless you. You thank too. You. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Spanky. Spanky, really? 
in Florida. Is that your name, Spanky? Uh, yeah, that's my handle. I go by. I, okay. I'm All right, Spanky. What's bit. going on? How can we help you? Uh, uh, my question was, uh, I've been doing. Well, I've been listening to you for a while, but uh, I've been thinking that uh, uh, tangy tangerine. Okay. And my problem is, uh, uh, I guess you could say, high blood pressure and stress. Okay. And I've been I've been taking the D on tangy tangerine, and I've been, what I've been doing, I've also been adding uh, extra B vitamins because. Good. Good deal. I understand. Because to my understanding, that's supposed to be like the stress vitamin. Get on the new, get on the new niacin product from Longevity. Longevity now has a timed release niacin. I think it's called Ultimate okay. Niacin. Uh, get on the timed release niacin. Everybody out there with high blood pressure, timed release niacin in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Niacin opens up the blood vessels very, very effectively. This is one of the reasons it works for cholesterol. It works for blood sugar. Uh, opens up blood vessels. It's also part of the what's called the glucose tolerance factor. So it helps your body process sugar. It's important for brain health. It's important for, uh, it works like a statin drug for lowering cholesterol. So get on that. And then you got to, the hypertension is telling me that something's hyped up in the body. Hypertension is a sign of hyper. Uh, it's something's yeah. jacked up. So you got to calm yeah. the body down, Spanky. Calm the body down. Restrict your intake of sugar. That's for one thing. Sugar will represent oh, yeah. a, a major hype on the body. That means bread and pasta and potatoes. Restrict or even go zero tolerance. Go ketogenic. Ketogenic diet, if you've been listening to us, great for high right. blood pressure. Hot baths, hot water, exercise, meditation, yoga, relaxing the body, just sitting on the couch and doing deep breathing can lower your blood pressure very dramatically, by the way. And then, uh, and then also nutrients. There's some wonderful nutrients for lowering blood pressure. Magnesium may be the most, in addition to the B vitamins, magnesium is probably the most important, most important nutrient, most important mineral for lowering blood pressure. And many of us get too much calcium because we're eating dairy. And then there's calcium used as, food, as a food additive. So if you're not supplementing with magnesium, you very likely can be off in your calcium to magnesium balance. So get on some magnesium, a couple, thou uh, couple thousand milligrams a day. You'll get it in the osteo FX. Uh, vegetables, green vegetables. Vegetables are a source of magnesium. In fact, all vegetable juices can have an anti-hypertensive effect. Uh, vitamin C can have an anti-hypertensive effect, so you may want to throw in some extra vitamin C as well. And then, uh, what was the second thing you said? You said one more thing. Uh, it's um, yeah, it was, uh, well, the stress and, and uh, high blood pressure, but uh, I, I, a matter of fact, most of what you said, I do, I do, do. I, sugar? Uh, Any issues with sugar? Blood sugar? Uh, uh, the sugar, I, uh, I, I, I avoid that like a Good for you. Hey, uh, Spanky, I'm just out of time. You can call back tomorrow. Yeah, we can finish up if you like, but the show's over. I apologize, man. Thanks for your call, though. All right. All right. I apologize if I left you on hold. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, including our retinol 5% gel. And if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, call our phone team at 866-735-2470. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.